Hello, if you've just arrived, hi, welcome. Hopefully you are arriving in the correct place and you're here because you're interested in some of our land based courses at College Gwent. Uh, we're just going to wait for a few more people to arrive. Uh, if you haven't landed in the correct place, please go uh, back and hopefully you'll be able to locate the department that you're actually interested in. OK. So we're just going to wait for a few more people to arrive um, and then I'll be talking to you about land based courses at USK campus. OK, so just to let you know, it is at USK campus. This isn't delivered. Our courses aren't delivered anywhere else um, at college. We are only delivered at USK campus. OK. OK, so just to do a little bit of an introduction as well, while we wait for a few more people to arrive, my name is Jess. I'm one of the lecturers in the land based department. I'm also one of the tutors in the animal care department. Um, so I will be kind of you. It's my voice you'll be hearing throughout. However, we also have Helen Morgan with us tonight. Helen is our head of school at USK campus. Um, she will be available in the the kind of live Q&A area or chat room area. Uh, that will be running throughout so you can ask questions. Julie Gardner will also be available and answering questions as you ask them. Julie is uh, another lecturer in the land based department and Julie is also one of our ASAs. So a staff member that's responsible for supporting students with additional learning needs. So hopefully you'll see us around uh, from September. So if while we wait, if you head towards the live Q&A section, you should be able to see the live Q&A section. Um, you'll be able to see uh, questions and answers from the previous session. Um, don't panic about the links and things that have been shared in the previous section. We will also be sharing them again now. Um, and that will be open that that question area will be open throughout. So please feel free to just jump in and ask any question that you have. There is no silly question. Um, so yeah, please feel free. Um, I'm going to begin because it looks like we've got people here. People may well join throughout as well. Um, one thing I will say to start with is subtitles are available. OK, so if you're in, if you're watching, tuning in from somewhere that you can't have your volume on um, or you've got it quite quiet, then subtitles are available. They are also available in Welsh. So if you would like to listen to this presentation in Welsh, uh, I will be delivering it in English, but subtitles are available in Welsh. So they can be found at the bottom of your screen. There's a little subtitle icon and you can pick your option. Um, please don't panic if you have technical issues or you experience any technical issues throughout this. Let us know in that chat room. Um, but this is a recorded event, so the link for the previous session and this session will be sent out afterwards. It will be made available to you for you to watch at your own kind of pace. Um, so you can kind of engage with that if you do experience technical issues. OK, so the live Q&A section, I just want to talk you through the Q&A that is by default private. OK, so if you post in there, it will be private to start with. So please don't feel um, that you can't ask a question, especially if it's a personal question. The question will remain private unless we choose to publish it. We won't publish anything with personal information on. But if you ask a good question, um, that doesn't contain personal information, we will make that public so that everybody can see that answer because it's quite likely if you're thinking it, somebody else is thinking it. So please don't think that there's a silly question. Um, if you like, it would be nice to know who's out there. I know there's a few of you out there. Please feel free to type hi and give that a whirl. All right. Um, so if you wanted to type hi in the live Q&A section, we will reply and say hello back and just so that we know that you're out there. Um, there is also an option. You can either leave your name or you don't. You can kind of post anonymously. OK, so 
please don't be shy and feel free to ask questions. So one of the things that I'll be running through tonight is how to apply online, where to get the information online about our courses. I'm going to talk you through some of the land based courses that we offer. Um, but mainly I'm going to talk to you about the course structure. We have a lot of courses, so I'll talk you through the course structure because that stays somewhat the same regardless of the course that you're on. I'm also going to talk to you about the facilities that we have at campus so that you uh, understand what kind of resources are available to you whilst at college um, and the kind of things. So meeting our animals, having a look at the farm, all right, I'm going to talk you through our campus facilities and we're going to share some links. So please keep an eye on the chat, even if you don't want to ask any questions, please keep an eye on the chat because I'm going to share or my moderators are going to share some links for you to get additional information and have a look around the college. OK. So to begin with, um, the land based department ask, what does it look like? So we have four key subject areas. Now, hopefully you have joined us tonight because you're interested in doing a land based course. It might be that you know you want to come and do a land based course, but you're not sure which course is for you. Or it might be that you 100% know which course that you want to do, which is great. But just to give you an overview, we deliver courses from level one right the way through to degree level. So you can see there our highest course at the moment is our BSc, which are Bachelors of Science degree in Animal Health and Welfare. OK, if you know that you're interested in some of our HE courses, so the foundation degrees, the BSc and the veterinary nursing, they are all considered HE, so higher education courses. Um, we're actually running a HE open event next week, so the same time next week, which is Tuesday the 30th of June. So please register for that event to speak to our HE tutors next week. Um, the main focus for tonight is going to be our full time courses. So I'm going to talk mainly about our level one courses right the way through to our level three courses, so our extended diploma courses. Um, I'm going to kind of let you know the course structure. If you would like information on what modules you will cover, um, the entry requirements for each of those courses, then that can be found online. As you can see, we have a lot of courses, so I can't talk about each individual course tonight, but check the chat. We're going to share the link. You can click into each of these individual courses. You can find information on the modules that you would cover in these courses and also the entry requirements. So by entry requirements, what qualifications do you need to get on to each course? OK, so definitely have a look, especially if you're not sure what you want to do. So if you're interested in the farm and you're interested in animals, have a look at the two types of courses and then try and figure out, well, actually, this course covers what I want to do a little bit more than the other one. OK, so definitely look into the courses online. You can also ask questions now, you know, feel free to ask questions now if you feel like there isn't something that you've been able to find online. OK, so what would a course look like? So hopefully tonight you're going to apply for a course. This will then mean that we'll we'll be in touch with you about the enrollment process, interviewing and you're going to join us in September. So regardless of whether you do an animal course, an agricultural course or an equine or countryside course, all of our courses are very similar in structure. OK, so your course would be considered a full time course but something that's probably going to be music to your ears is full time actually only means that you're in college three and a half days a week. OK, so it's still considered full time, but it only runs for three and a half days a week. So what will those three and a half days look like? So you will spend the majority of your time doing your subject area modules. And what we mean by this is if you've chosen to do agriculture, you will do things like sheep production, dairy production, grassland management. So you will do your subject area modules the majority of the time. Another thing that you will do in those three and a half days is you will do English and maths. Now it will depend on the grades that you come with if as to which English and math class you will attend. OK, but our goal at college is to encourage all learners to not only leave with a qualification in their subject area, but to also leave with those core English and math C grade GCSEs. So if you didn't quite make your C grade this year, don't panic. 
the college will give you an opportunity to continue working on your maths and your English and reset those GCSEs. OK, it's quite important, those GCSEs, they can be big um, kind of aspects of getting into university, employment. So the college kind of really do push learners and encourage learners to get that C grade. Another thing you'll do whilst at college, some of you might be familiar with this from high school, is something called Welsh Back. OK, so the Welsh Baccalaureate Qualification. Um, this is very different to uh, high school. In college, Welsh back will be taught by land based lecturers, which means it will have a very land based focus. OK, so some of the things that we do in terms of Welsh back last year, for example, we did the Christmas shoebox challenge where learners collected donations and raised money for animals in shelters over Christmas. So we took and we took shoe boxes full of dog treats and toys to local animal shelters um, as part of their Welsh back qualification. Another thing we do is something called countryside experience. So we invite some of you may have even attended countryside experience as a student yourself when you were in primary school. But for countryside experience, we invite local primary schools to come onto the college campus and get involved in some of the activities on the farm. We take them pond dipping, they meet our animals and they just learn about the environment, how to protect the environment um, and also kind of have a little bit of fun on campus with our animals. So that is kind of our community challenge for Welshback. And then we also have things like Christmas crafts and bake sales that we run um, as part of Welsh back um, and these are to raise money for different animal charities. We have the guide dogs in at Christmas. So although you may be familiar with Welsh back, it will be quite different, I imagine, than what it is in school. So another thing that you'll do at college is each week you'll have a tutorial session. Um, in a second, I'm going to talk to you about your tutors, but in tutorial, that is when you would meet your tutor and spend some quality time with your tutor. Um, during tutorial, you'll be able to talk to your tutor about pastoral support and any support that you feel you need in college, be it access to a counsellor, be it access to the Inspire to Achieve team, any kind of additional support or any struggles, problems or concerns that you're having in college. Tutorial gives you that good opportunity to catch up with your tutor about it. Uh, during tutorial, your tutor will also set you targets and make sure that you're staying on track with those targets and your coursework. Um, your tutor will also talk to you about any additional learning needs that you have during tutorial and anything you feel the college can do to kind of help and support you through that. Um, and tutorial is also a good opportunity to kind of look outside of the course and cover um, enrichment activities, guest speakers, um, current affairs and any relevant topics that are going on. Um, will be covered during tutorial. If you're on a level three programme, tutorial will also focus on applying for university and you'll be supported throughout your UCAS form. So regardless of what course you choose to do, that is essentially the structure of how your kind of course would look on a weekly basis. OK, so we're going to quickly meet some of the team um, just because if you're applying for a course tonight, it is quite likely that these people are going to contact you over the next few weeks um, about enrolling um, and about joining the course. So for level one animal care, that is actually me. So I am Jess. Um, I've got a degree in zoology and I was a zookeeper for a little while. I also teach from level one right the way through to HE. So Regardless of the course that you're going to join, it's quite likely that you'll see a lot of these tutors. We have Nicole. Nicole is our level two animal care tutor. She is an Australian and a local farmer. We have Laura, our level three year one tutor for animal management. Laura is a big uh, welfare and behaviour lecturer. And then we have Sean. Sean is our level three year two animal management tutor and he is our science, our main science tutor. So again, regardless of the course that you're on or the level that you're on, um, some of our lecturers are quite specialist. So Sean may well be your uh, kind of science teacher. OK, so in terms of our equine team, 
So if you're applying for any of our horse care or horse management courses tonight, these are the staff members to kind of keep an eye out for. You've got Harriet. She is a stage three BHS coach. She is our level one tutor. Our level two tutor is Steve. Steve is a BHS senior coach. He's also a British dressage list five judge, British dressage youth assessor and trainer. And then we have Sarah. Sarah is our level three horse management tutor. She's also a stage five coach. She's a British eventing coach. And Sarah is our BHS assessor. So our British Horse Society assessor on campus. I'll talk to you a little more about that later on, but Sarah is our assessor. Finally then, our agricultural and countryside team. So at level one, it tends to be me again. At level two, we have Christian Veta. So at level two agriculture, Christian is a local beef farmer. Christian is also our NPTC assessor for chainsaws, telescopic spreaders and sprayers. Um, a lot of our short courses, Christian is the kind of man that will uh, be involved in the training or assessing for that. Um, again, I'll talk to you about short courses a little bit later on, but if you've joined tonight because you're interested in your chainsaws, for example, Christian would be the, the kind of tutor that you meet. Then we've got Ian Powell. He's our level three agricultural tutor. He is a local farmer. He's also our crop specialist and our ecology teacher. So again, regardless of the course, you may well meet Ian. At Countryside, we've got Chris Knight. Chris Knight is our main practical tutor, does a lot of our estate skills modules, a lot of our kind of grassland management, freshwater ecology modules. And then we've got Chris Carey, who's our level three Countryside year two tutor. And he is a uh, theory, predominantly a theory based tutor. So does a lot of the classroom uh, Countryside management modules. He's also one of our Welsh back kings at campus so you may well meet Chris Carey for uh, Welshback. Okay so what I want to talk to you through next is our animal care centre on our, our facilities because if you're going to join a course with us tonight you really want to know what we have available for you and what animals what resources are going to help you along your course. So we have a purpose built animal care centre that houses over 50 species of exotic and domestic animals. So you can see here one of our animals, one of our residents. This is Apollo. Apollo is a sugar glider and he lives out in our small mammal room. Um, he actually lives with his girlfriend Luna. Um, so in our small mammal room, we have animals like sugar gliders, African pygmy hedgehogs, hamsters, mice, dagoos and chinchillas. We also have a reptile and amphibian room. Um, some of our residents in there are our 12 foot boa constrictor. We have savannah bosk monitors, tree frogs, tarantulas, scorpions, tortoise, bearded dragons. And we do have some smaller snakes as well. Um, we also have an outside area. In our outside area, we have ferrets, rabbits, guinea pigs, lovebirds, chickens, doves. In addition to this outside, we have a Blue Cross rehoming centre. So the college work really closely with Blue Cross and we help to um, house, temporarily house, stray and unwanted cats that are looking for a new home. So be careful if you join a course with us, you may also end up with a new cat. Um, and then we also have rescue donkeys. So we have a pair of rescue donkeys that have come from the donkey sanctuary. And you quite often see these on our social media pages. Bill and Ben are our fabulous rescue donkeys. Uh, please check the chat. We're going to share a, a kind of link that you can take yourself on a 360 tour of our facilities. You can go into our reptile room. You can meet our donkeys. So please, please, please check that link and have a look inside our animal care centre. Look at the animals we've got. Have a look at our facilities. OK. OK, so our equine centre. So we have a, our equine centre is a 16 stable centre with an indoor and outdoor arena. We also have a cross country schooling area. Um, we are a BHS approved riding centre and we've recently received highly commended status, which we're very proud of. Because we are a BHS uh, centre, 
learners that enrol with us will have the opportunity to complete BHS exams at stages one to four. Learners will also have the opportunity to complete their ride safe exam. OK, um, so Sarah Spence, which is one of our tutors, is our assessor and our learners will have the opportunity to complete these. Another thing learners have an opportunity to get involved with is our on site competitions and events. Again, these can be found on the website, um, but your tutors will continually update you about competitions and events that are going on in college. Uh, another interesting thing that students might like to hear is that students can even bring their horse to college. So we do have livery opportunities at college. Um, please check out the chat if you are interested in hearing about the livery or contacting us about livery fees and availability, because we are going to share that information in the chat room for you. Um, so one of the things that you'll do whilst at college, practical activities would include horse husbandry and care, riding, including jumping and flat work, uh, horse biology and veterinary management. If you are interested in joining an equine course, but you've never ridden a horse, please do not panic. We have riding routes and we have non riding routes. OK, you will meet with tutors, speak to tutors before. So apply for the course that you know you meet the requirements for, but you will meet with tutors um, for a discussion about whether you're going to go down the riding route or the non riding route. So if you've never gotten on a horse, but you're really interested in joining a horse course, then please do not panic because we have riding and non riding opportunities. Again, check out the chat room because we're going to share the 360 tour link so that you can take yourself into our indoor school. You can take yourself around our stables and have a look at the yard and you can also have a look at our classrooms in our equine centre. So the links available in the chat room if you'd like to look around at our horse centre or our equine centre. OK, finally. Our farm and kind of country estate. So the college is working with an on site commercial dairy farm. They have a herd of around 250 Holstein cattle. Students will help out with those cattle. Students will also help to manage our small flock of lowland sheep, which is particularly fun during lambing time. Students get heavily involved in lambing time. Uh, students also have access to over 600 acres of agricultural land and 70 acres of uh, both broadleaf woodland and conifer woodland. Um, we are also, campus is also, it's where we get our name, but we're also on the bank of the River Usk and the Birthing Brook, which feeds into the river, runs directly through our estate. This is really good because we quite often see otters. OK, so we do have wild otters that are sometimes seen on campus if you're extra quiet. There's lots of uh, otter evidence as well. So they're really beneficial for things like our countryside and environment courses, our ecology modules. There's a lot of wildlife present on campus. Um, students on these courses as well will also have the opportunities to complete MPTC certificates in chainsaws, ATVs, telescopic handlers, safe use of veterinary medicines, as well as safe use of pesticides. OK, so we do short courses and if you're on full time courses, you have the opportunity to complete these as well. OK, so some of the practicals you'll get involved with on the farm are things like milking. You'll help us to look after the calves. So you'll do some calf husbandry, some calf management, sheep husbandry and management. You'll also learn some estate skills, so things like fencing, hedge, hedge laying. Um, and you'll also learn tractor driving. Um, those are not the only modules you'll learn, but those are just a little example of some of the things that you'll cover. If you're doing an animal management course, it is quite likely you will also come to the college farm and help out. Um, this is massively beneficial because you get to work with larger animals and understand not only the small animals, but how to handle and kind of deal with larger animals. Um, so hopefully again check the chat because we're going to share the link for the 360 tour of the farm so you can take yourself into our cow shed you can take yourself into our machinery shed and you can have a look around the farm at what we have okay so definitely check out that link um 
I'm going to mute now and I'm going to help um, answer any questions if there are any. We're going to stay put for five or ten minutes. So please feel free to ask questions. If you don't feel like you have any questions to ask and you're ready, then please move on to the finance and transport talk, which is next. Um, again, if you feel like you've missed any information or you want to have a look, the link for this event will be sent out. So hopefully kind of giving you a bit of an overview of the land based department. You can see our facilities, you know where to get information on the courses and hopefully you'll apply tonight and uh, we will see you very soon. So I'll be available on the chat if you need us. Thank you for visiting.